Before I get into this video, I just can't stress this enough to the people that know me personally, or just anybody that watches this video. Please do not give me shits about uh, getting hacked, or basically giving the man my information in order to hack me. This is already embarrassing enough that I let all this happen. The last thing I want is people giving me banter over this shit. And second, if my voice starts trying to sound like a really bad Italian accent or impression, I've been watching too much Sopranos, so, you know, bear with me. So if you're not one of my subscribers that are watching this video because you saw my post yesterday and are curious what is the update on the situation, then you're probably somebody who's either one, trying to avoid getting hacked, or three, unfortunately, you've already been hacked. My words are going to be slurred and probably get say a few things wrong. Just understand, I have been a little shaken since these events. So how to avoid getting scammed on this way that people have been getting scammed on for Steam for quite some time now. If someone messages you claiming that they falsely reported your account on an attempt to report another person that had scammed them, then tell them to fuck off because they're just trying to get your fucking account. Then they're gonna say they're gonna refer you to some person that works at Steam or that can help you with your situation. Don't fall for this, because this is the same person operating these two accounts. This guy will claim that he needs to authenticize, authenticate to your account just to make sure that it's not run by some person that actually ran a scam. He'll have you send certain information regarding your purchases that you've done over Steam in the last few years. If you comply with all these things, he'll eventually try getting you to a certain certain amount of websites where he'll try to get you to pay in various ways. He'll use websites like Eniba, G2A, to buy certain Steam cards to verify that you need to verify that you can buy stuff with this thing. I don't know, man. There's another one like Banksa. Yeah, spelled like this. This person in particular, his, he went by the name Chris Carollo, which that's not actually his real name. This isn't even his real Gmail. There's actually a person that is Chris Carollo that works at Steam, or he works on certain Steam games. So I guess he tried going under this guy's presence. I don't know if these accounts are too linked. I have trust issues right now, so I don't know what to believe. But I still have some humanity that believes that this guy is probably innocent. And it's probably not the guy that was hacking. I'd imagine it wouldn't be that easy to find him. So now, assuming that you haven't told the guy to fuck off as soon as he messaged you and you actually have done all these things, eventually he's going to tell you that he wants to see the code that you'll get from Steam. Basically, basically that's the step that he'll use to take control of your account. And then you never hear from him again, because now he has access to all your shit. And what the fucking do, all your information on your profile picture will be as non-existent as the tits on a fucking transvestite. If you try logging in, you will find that your email has been changed. You'll see the first letter and everything else blurred out. And you will see that the first letter is probably not the same one as you had it before. And the password? Forget that. It's already been changed. You're not getting your account back. Unless you become a problem solver. Because now I'm going to teach you how to get your account back. So what I chose to do after watching certain many, many videos is I made an alt account. Yeah, look at look at me. I'm I'm pretty, aren't I? I use this account so that way I can get in contact with Steam support, and so that way when I tried using my other account on Steam or my other email, the person using my account potentially wouldn't be getting notifications that I'm trying to interact with my own profile again. I wanted this guy to know that I was mindless, which I, I kind of was. But basically, you gotta play the manipulation game. You gotta make them think that you are not willing to come back at your account, or that you really are lost. I sent this guy messages on, or emails just so that I can wait for him to get back to me. And knowing that he didn't get back to me, that was the moment that I realized I got scammed. But I'd say it's good that I didn't respond to his emails after I found out, because he probably still thinks that I don't know what to fucking do. He probably still thinks I'm waiting for that refund as we speak. So first what you want to do is definitely email the support team and let them know exactly what you are trying to do. I have information somewhat here. I wouldn't copy what I'm saying word for word just because I don't want this to seem like this is a template that future scams could use where people try to like get back an account that isn't theirs. So you know, use use kind of what I'm saying and what I'm typing here just for reference and just like summarize, you know. D don't copy my homework entirely, you know, just change the work just a little bit. Now they're going to give you a list of things that you need to fill out or respond with. The basic stuff should be pretty easily. Hopefully you took screenshots of your past purchases because those things may have just helped me get my account back and they could help you get your account back. They're gonna ask for a certain confirmation code number or some shit like that. I didn't know what they were talking about but I'm thinking the numbers that I used under the category that said like invoice those should be enough. 
and as well as the dates listed. From what I've seen of videos people having this scam, they don't end up changing their name, the scammers, to their accounts. They keep the username, they just can't get back into their information. So the username should still be the same username, so if you can get the link to it, that's even better. I was expecting this to take a few days, but I actually got responses within hours of each message, and then we got it resolved. Also, if you're having problems or you don't know how to respond to the emails, just simply click on the no, I'm not done with this person, this, this situation. Basically, that your situation is not resolved. That's how you respond to them. Now, if you've provided the right amount of information, they will ask you what email you want to use, basically to recover your account again. Like, what email do you want to use? I have two emails. One I used for the main stuff that I like to do, and two I use for the stuff that I really don't give a shit about, but people typically want me to subscribe to or use you know like school updates on assemblies and shit like that some some job clubs you know just just that old stuff now i would suggest that you have every tab open at your disposal every single time have your spam account open on steam have uh, two tabs with your gmail if you are going to use two different emails for two different accounts the one that's being hacked and the one that you're using to try to get the other one back because once Steam sends that code that you are now able to log into your accounts again, I would just beeline straight to that and get into your account and change some information so that way there's no way for them to remotely track it again. I wouldn't know if a hacker's completely just logged out and just can't access your account anymore, but you know, you don't want to take chances with these things because these people are low lives and they are willing to take your shit. Now, that should be it. You should have access to your account at this point. I can't think of anything else that would be a problem because this actually went pretty smoothly for me. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, it's back. Let's refresh that. Oh, it's back. It's all back. <laughs> yes! You know, once you get your account back, you know, just, just thank the guy. I need to reply to this. Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you. This is probably very extra. You know what, let me just throw in one of these. Yeah. Be sure to give them a little, you know, a little, a little, a little smooch, you know, give them a little kissy kissy, maybe flirt with them a little bit, you know. As much as I like using Discord as a server, I've noticed there are a lot of scammers that roam around it nowadays. And it's kind of led me to leaving a lot of servers just because I do not want to take chances. Or I just don't want to give scammers the times anymore. I've left these servers just because the, any potential that people that I don't know will message me, I want them to fuck off. I don't, I don't mess with people that much anymore. I very much have some trust issues at the moment. And you know what? It won't always be like this. If you also feel some sort of way that I'm feeling right now, we're going to get through this together. All right? You're in this. I'm in this. Or I was in it. But you know what? You're going to get through this. You're going to be all right. So yeah, if some scammer or anybody just hits you up that you've never met in your life before, not even like friends or acquaintances with, and they hit you up like this in this manner, just telling you they need to talk to you for a certain issue, tell them to fuck off. Just tell them to fuck right off. Although my issue is resolved, I'm not going to say too much, but I know a guy who knows a guy. And whoever fucking hacks my account, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. For the people who were just looking to get their issue resolved, that's the end of the video for you. Subscribe, I make some damn good content when I'm not making videos about getting scammed, believe me. And I hope that this accent will only be a thing that's happening in this video, and it won't be a continued problem. I am so sorry to all the Italians out there. As for the people that are already subscribed and you're just watching this video to update on me, everything's, everything's alright. I, I am still a little shaken. But you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna be better. You're gonna see more videos coming out of this channel still. I might have to focus on making different types of videos as well. As much as I don't like the idea that I'm giving this person that hacked me any sort of attention, or like I'm letting him get the best of me at all, unfortunately, there is a part of me that I feel I don't think I'm gonna really be able to focus on really making gaming content right now. Like, I'm very, very shaken. I'm slightly angry, mostly angry, that I don't think I'm going to be able to carry a good vibe throughout the video, so expect two videos that are gaming related to be coming out soon, and the next few videos, or maybe the videos for the rest of the year, I don't know what I'm going to do. But you know what, there will be some content, I'll find a way to bring something to you guys. Well that's it for this video, everyone be safe, stay safe on the internet, and again, tell them to fuck off. Luckily I talked to my bank yesterday, they're going to try talking about getting my money back. Well, Chris Coelho, it's been fun, but you could just go fuck off.